Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. So we just released a brand new plugin called RT Paths that lets you draw animated lines on video, like this, or like this, or like this. So today on MacBreak Studio, I thought I'd show you a little bit about our development process using motion. If you wanted to create your own animated line for Final Cut Pro, that's pretty easy. Start with the Motion Title Project, delete the text in the placeholder, and use the Bezier tool to draw your path. Click to add linear control points. Click drag to add smooth ones. If you wanted this line to follow a specific path, you could first import your image to trace along. Press Return, use the Heads Up display to turn off the fill, and adjust the color and the width. To animate it, you can add a write-on behavior, trim it, adjust the speed, and there we have a custom animated path. To make it more flexible at Final Cut, we can publish some parameters. In the Shape Inspector, in the Style tab, I'll publish the brush color, the width, and the end cap. In the Geometry tab, I'll publish the control points. Now I'll press Command S to save, choose a name and a category, and publish it. Now in Final Cut, I can locate it in the Titles and Generators sidebar, add it to a project, and change the published parameters. But adjusting the control points by dragging on these value fields in the inspector isn't very user-friendly. So here's where I start thinking about how I'd like to be able to modify this path in Final Cut beyond these published parameters. For example, I'd like to have on-screen controls for moving the points of the path. I'd like to be able to change the number of control points. I'd like to change the animation speed. And as I add these features and Steve and I keep testing, we continue to add to this list. Let's go back to motion. So what starts out as a simple shape layer with a single behavior ends up looking like this. I'd like to explain how I approached adding three specific features. First, to allow the Final Cut user to select the number of control points, I created four separate instances of the path with zero, one, two, or three turns. The opacity of each of these lines is rigged to this widget here, so that when you select one, the others disappear. And if you want to change the color or width or other attributes of a path, your change has to affect all the paths so I've linked those attributes together. Second, to create on-screen controls, I added these filters to these generators. Now you can't track the points of a path directly to a filter, so I added these intermediate invisible tracker graphics and linked their positions to the filter control. Then I tracked each of the control points of each line to those tracker graphics by using the track points behavior and enabling just the single control point for that tracker. Third, I made the animation speed adjustable by setting the write on behavior's speed to custom and using keyframes. I then rigged those keyframes to this animation speed widget. And you'll see if I select a different speed, the ending keyframe moves to a different location. You can see here I also created widgets for changing the end cap, adding a vehicle, showing or hiding the endpoint text, choosing a line type, showing or hiding the endpoint dots, and turning on a grid to help with alignment. Before we look at how all this works in Final Cut, I want to return to our simple example to show you one issue. I would love it if you could toggle a control point between linear and smooth, and even more importantly, if you could adjust the Bezier handles of a smooth control point in Final Cut Pro. But these features are not publishable. Motion doesn't allow you to access these handles in Final Cut Pro. So back in Final Cut, you'll see that RT Paths includes two templates, one for linear turns and one for smooth turns. I'll add the linear path to this image, set it to three turns, Move the control points with the on-screen controls. Add a vehicle. I'll 
adjust the style, and play. And that works great. I'll add the smooth path to this image, choose two turns, position it with the on-screen controls, and use the drop zone option to add my own vehicle. Notice that I can move the curved points, but I don't have access to the Bezier handles to control the width or angle of the curve. This is great for general direction, but you can't make the curve precisely follow a path. I've only touched on a few features here. You can also tilt the path to add perspective, join multiple paths together, and by putting the path in the clip in a compound clip, you can use Ken Burns to add a camera move. Check out the link to the demo below to see all the features. I hope you found that interesting. Leave us a comment below. If you're interested in RT Paths, it's on sale this week for 19 bucks. So grab it if you think it's useful. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here on MacBreak Studio.